Hi everyone. The topic for the today's presentation is care of patient with suprapubic catheter. I am Sasikala, assistant professor, belongs to medical and surgical nursing department. At the end of this presentation, you will be able to define the term suprapubic catheter, overview on urinary bladder, list indications of suprapubic catheter, identify the reason for infection at suprapubic catheter site, list signs of infection at suprapubic catheter and discuss care of patient with suprapubic catheter. To begin with, let's see what is suprapubic catheterization. It is a form of urinary diversion in which a self-retaining catheter is placed into the bladder via the suprapubic region for the purpose of draining the urine. Before we see the care of patients with suprapubic catheter, let us have an overview on urinary bladder. This urinary bladder is a hollow organ made up of muscle designed to store and evacuate urine from the human body. A typical urinary bladder holds between 300 and 500 ml of urine. The bladder is actually divided into fundus, body, apex and neck. This urinary bladder is located just behind the pubic bone in the extra peritoneal space. The abdominal muscle just above the pubis is comprised of rectus muscle bellis lateral and the linea alba in the midline. So, this suprapubic catheter inserted through this rectus muscle. What is the indication for suprapubic catheterization? The people who have got failed urethral catheterization indicated for SPC. Then ruptured urethra in case of any trauma or accident. And urethrocutaneous fistula, periurethral abscess, extravasation of urine, chronic retention in neurogenic bladder. These are all the common indication for suprapubic catheterization. Next, reason for infection at SPC site. First one is formation of biofilm. Infection in individual with indwelling catheter is usually a result of formation of biofilm along with the catheter that ascends into the bladder along both the internal and external catheter surface. This biofilm formation is universal in all the indwelling catheters. Uh, it is initiated immediately following the catheter insertion and causes bacteria within 14 days of catheter insertion. This biofilm complex allows the bacteria to aggregate in the site. So, it is the main reason for the infection at SPC site. And other two uh, reasons are inappropriate catheter management and organism carried from the hands of health workers and instruments. This is all about like when the, pay, when the uh, healthcare workers handling the catheter or the patient when he handling the catheter, if the sterile aseptic technique have not followed, that also a reason for the infection at SPC site. How to identify the signs of infection at SPC site? There will be redness or tenderness around the cut in the SPC site. And patient would have developed bacteria means he will have feelings and urgent need to urinate, pain while urination, cloudy or discolored urine. Patient may have temperature greater than 104 degree Fahrenheit. These are all the common signs of infection at SPC site. So, how to care the patient with the SPC? Let's see from the next slide. Before we start the care, first we need to check the working status of SPC. Make sure the bag is always kept below the waist. This will keep urine from going back into the bladder. So, by the gravity it will go down and it won't allow the urine to go back into the bladder. And second point, try not to disconnect the uh, catheter often. 
Keeping it connected will make it work better. And third point, check for kink and move the tubings around if it is not draining. These are all the things which we have to uh, see before we initiate the care. Next about care of skin around suprapubic catheter. First one, check the catheter site a few times uh, daily. That is very, very important. That is monitoring it. And second one is check for redness, pain, swelling or pus. That means any signs of infection is there or not. For that we have to check. And third one, wash the area around the catheter every day with mild soap and water. After washing, gentle pad with a cloth to be to be done and uh, patients with spc catheter can have a showering also and fourth point is do not use any sort of creams powders or the spray near the site because all these things will favor the growth of microorganism at the uh, spc site and final point is apply bandages around the site the way your healthcare provider is demonstrated to do so. So these are all uh, the points how we have to care the skin around the SPC site. Changing the catheter. Many patients with suprapubic catheter is permanent. So uh, patients will be taught how to change, how to care the catheter by themselves. So first one, uh, we have to teach them make sure new catheter is lubricated on the end which will go into the suprapubic site. That means articles need to be kept ready. And clean the site around with a sterile solution. Then deflate the balloon with once uh, out of the syringe. And take out the old catheter slowly because roughly uh, pulling out the catheter can cause damage to the skin. So it has to be removed very slowly after deflating the balloon of the catheter and then take off the top pair of the gloves if you are wearing the gloves and insert the new catheter as far as it is reaching to the side and we have to inflate the uh, balloon of the catheter then wait for the urine to flow because it is also prop pubic catheter it may take time to flow of the urine so we have to wait for some time till it flows then inflate the balloon of 5 to 8 ml, ml of water with 5 to 8 ml of water then attach the drainage bag this is the sequence this is the steps by which the new catheter can be changed let's see about the troubleshooting situations in which we need to call doctor if you identify trouble in changing the catheter or emptying the bag and second bag is filled so quickly and there is increased amount of urine that is polyuria and leak of urine around the catheter site and blood in the urine or bleeding at the uh, catheter site after changing and it does not stop even after 24 hours and next point is catheter seems to be blocked and grid or the stones are found in the urine or any change in the smell and the color of the urine may be cloudy or uh, blood in the urine we need to call the doctor and finally if we identify any signs of infection like burning sensation when you urinate fever chills if all these things have found these are all the situation in which we need to get an assistance from the doctor dear viewers these are all the reference i have used for this one hope you are very clear with this content thank you for watching this video thank you once again